Because I say you and, and Tristan and I just recorded a PTN on the wedding album, and want to tell people how woke it is. I mean, what year did it come out? Nineteen ninety six. Yep. Like right now, if that book were to come out, it would absolutely be called woke because well, Lois wouldn't part. let. Well, Lois wouldn't let her dad walk her down the aisle. Lois was a strong, independent woman. Took down a drug cartel right at the start. All by herself in a wedding yep. dress. Yep. And so, yeah, that would be considered woke. I, of course it would be. But that's how comics have always been. But, yeah, good morning, everyone. And, and sorry, Eric. That, yeah, right before he had to go off to work. Oh, my gosh. Medley says, talking about Rhea Ripley looks like Chris Emotionless. That's what I, I it's crazy, right? Like, <laughs> she looks just like Chris, like they could be siblings. And they both look like Joker from Suicide Squad kills the Justice League. I love it. I love it. It's so funny. Mm -hmm. uh, good morning, Medley. Good morning, Todd. Todd is yeah. the one who started the Rhea Ripley stuff. I'm sure that's totally <laughs> real and not fake at all. Good morning, Gary. Good morning, Patrick. It is very much so clickbait. You'll understand what I mean when it comes to... We are not talking Zack Snyder. We are talking Scott Snyder. Good you know, morning, the, the, the fact that it was that a joke, I've seen some people actually been making saying like, well, you got a Snyder, just not the Snyder you wanted. You should have been more specific with your monkey paw wish. Right, exactly. Good morning, Gary. Why? Okay, this is, no. Gary, this is a horrible idea. What? what uh, Why? Canary into a singer from a church? That is so anti, that is so antithetical to everything. 
Black Canary. Canary's never been a religious type anyway. No, not. I mean, I could see a different character. Yeah. I definitely could. Good morning, Raymond. Good morning, like, James. Even though we haven't seen it, I went, but we got Red Canary B1. Red Canary? Oh, yeah. Yeah, remember? She was a, and she, was, she got Cape just brought back in the uh, Green Arrow book. Um, yeah, I haven't been reading that. Yeah, nope, I haven't been reading it at all. Um, good morning, Pika. Good morning, <laughs> Tevia. Good morning, Joseph. Good morning, Punk. He says, hey, Tristan, Bob, and Chad. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, Nick. Okay, we got our good morning. So, first off, today is Ermac Day. Yep. Oh, Which, good morning, Black Phoenix. Sorry. Good morning, Black Phoenix. Just before I get out of the way, I gave up on evasion. And I'll be honest, I was cheating my way through using a cheat trader just to be able to speed through it. And even that was boring. It took me over an hour just to get through one Mesa by cheating, which was they don't move. One hit, you know, take down, all that. I just kept on, and I'm going to be announcing it just so I can get through it all. And I couldn't. I could have because it was just too many stages, too much everything. Just, it was a slog. I was up to the second to last uh, Mesa, and I just gave up. I mean, I get it. I messed around with it a little bit yesterday to see what else I could get. I'm like, okay, there's a few more puke outfits. Um, yeah. But. Nothing about, I, that's the first invasion I have not beaten. I yeah, have same. Not they, I would have beat them if they didn't all look like vomit. I would have done it if it wasn't just so again boring. I think I might might when it comes to um when it comes to uh da, 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 Raiden because they do first, already look way better. First of all, Medley, we're joking with when we're saying it's woke. We're mocking those people. Huh? The term woke is being used by these lunatics. I don't know if they mean if they mean us. It's our must. Oh us no, 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 no! Yeah, we were just making fun of them. Yeah. Um. But yeah, so Ermac, did you watch a combat cast? No. What the fuck? Why do people not watch this shit? I got I got other things going on. Intruding, I, trying to get through invasion. I feel like this is like the one thing I'm very like adamant about making sure I watch, I watch every combat cast. That's my obsession, but um, we got to see, he's going to be very much so like rush down. So I'm good. Like mm -hmm. I'm super good. He yep. look, he's got a lot of air combos, which is going to be really good. Um, Also King of the Hill crossplay starting today with the update. Can I, I am so, that means I can't, we can, I can probably take part in the tournament if you start it up again. I am. I, I, what, I, I, I've been really. That took the wind out of your right. sails. I'm not having it. That seemed to take the wind right out of your sails. Well, it's not just that. It just got, um, well, then there was all the Tekken discourse and I wanted to learn Tekken and I learned that Tekken wasn't that good. Mm -mm. It was fine, but it wasn't that good. And, um. Okay. Remind me. Which one do you think is more superior, Tekken or Street Fighter Six? Tekken. Tekken eight or Tekken? Yeah, for sure. Yeah, but I mean that—that's just because um, Street Fighter is very much like the aesthetic of it is super bright. It's like a seizure waiting to happen. Mm -hmm. just, nah, Tekken is not good. Todd, we already—it's already canon that you have terrible opinions. Just yep. put it out there. Um, and then the season's gonna be Raiden or mm -hmm. Tar. Right in. Um, I'm hoping. I'm hoping that um, we get like an actual dark right in, like from uh, Eleven. But I don't think that. I I think it's going to be a a dark take on current right in. I mean, yeah, but current especially Raiden, especially so going. Sweet, oh. He can't be dark. True, but we already know that that potential is always there. He acknowledged it in his ending. Yeah, that's true. No, oh, no. Raymond says, I'm already anticipating Ermac Nurse because Sonic mm. Fox is already salivating over him. Oh, my God. That, seriously, Sonic Fox, he just gets enjoyment about ruining it for everyone else. I seen he posted something either this morning or late yesterday where he said he doesn't know who to main. He was working on Melina before, and I was watching his Melina stuff. 
He just can't stick with one. He wants to ruin them all for us. Mm-hmm. Fucking jerk. And again, Tavia, I don't blame you. Invasion. I blame is, you. I would, say, I would say invasion is worse than the correct. <laughs> shut the fuck up, Reese. 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 Shut up. Also, we're going to be talking about... I have Zoro on my list, so I wanted to make sure. Oh, yeah. <laughs> um... I want to okay. say this. Uh, I, 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 I forgot to put that on my list, but so, well, since you have it on your list, we'll be able to talk about it. Yeah. Um. I mean, it's not a strong recommend, but it's good. Mm-hmm. Um. I want to show this off because oh my god, it's all, all I I gotta go through my history and it's. Uh-oh. I was listening to music this morning, and that's all it is. Let me look it up because the new outfits are so, like what we've seen. From these new season skins. I mean, I don't like this base palette. Hold, oh my God, when the computer works, when it decides. <laughs> I don't like this base palette from Melina anyway, mm-hmm. but at least it looks halfway decent here. The eyes look interesting. For a moment, when you first showed me, I thought those were anime eyes for a moment, just the way it looks from the side. But then you told me, oh, it's Raiden eyes. I'm like, it's, oh, yeah. okay. It's better. I actually, I didn't get this palette at all because I didn't play Combat League and I did not play um, enough of Invasions to get this. So, I mean, what? here's the thing again. I wish the dev, devs would, um, I don't know, whether it's listen to or see. Um, super chat, at, by the way. Okay. Oh. What's the base color here? You're talking about someone who's partially colorblind, but I'm guessing blue or purple. It's purple. I said blue or purple. I said blue or purple. So I I know, but no, 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 you did. But it, why is it purple? Why the fuck is it purple? Isn't that her normally her color? No, her, she's pink. I think it's, I think this is Raiden season. Why is it purple? Good question. I think it could be just her coloring of it. Whatever. It's so stupid. That's Sindel's color. Joseph, Ermac stole the show. Takita cannot. Come on. Okay. I like Ermac a lot. And I'm and going there, there, there. to she absolutely won't... be able to kick Joseph and everybody else's ass. Oh, to be fair, also, like, they say, yeah, Molina was, yeah, was always purple since MK2. Yeah. Oh, my Wait God. Please listen. Please listen. It has nothing to do with her coloring. No, it's I know. I'm Raiden's just saying what she's... Yeah. Palettes. Uh-oh. Ed Boone And it was reacts. never purple. It was always fuchsia. Oh, by the way, Ed Boone reacts. Kita is so- going to kick Ermac's ass. Sorry, go ahead. Uh, uh, Raymond just showed. Ed Boone is reacting to Santa Fox. Are you going, you know, like, 100% meaning Ermac? He's like, uh-oh. Oh, no. So even oh, Ed no. Boone realizes, like, crap, he's going to take the fun out of everything. Oh, my God. No. That is not light blue. That's purple. That's hey, why is Molina trending? Why is Molina trending? Because um, she's perfect. Probably. Oh, because of the intro. Because of the intro. Yeah, this came out. And I think there was... Apparently she's going to be buffed during the, during, in the update. Fuck! Yes. Finally. She should be... This should not be purple, though. This should be blue or even white. Like this blue that we see right here. Mm-hmm. I, I just who's the designer over there? Who knows? That looks more like lavender. You guys aren't seeing my point. It has nothing to do with the fact that it's on Melina. It's supposed to be the season of Raiden. Therefore, by taking Raiden's colors. Oh my god. I'm gonna hit every single one of you. Oh, but it's still uh, prettier you, you than last season, so whatever. You missed, you missed my joke. I just went. Whoop. Oh my god! <laughs> I, 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 I just. Melina does not need a bub. Yes, she does. She, yes, she does. <laughs> Maybe that's my issue. Why I can't perfect Melina? Maybe she's needed a buff all along. Whereas characters like Johnny needed a nerf to make. Okay, so that makes sense. Oh, geez, Reese, seriously? Looks like I'm going to hunt down Sean Gordon Murphy at the con. Wait, just wait till... Um, wait till we go over the third issue. Wait till wait we go over this. it. 
I'm not saying. I'm not even saying it's. Uh, it's not the see. greatest. It's not the greatest, but it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's just not perfect. It's. I'm not a big Zorro person. And like, I just feel like the brother's just a little like quirky. He's just a little like, I don't know. I don't he's, know. He's, he's, he's got emotional trauma issues is his thing. He's got he's DID not, or something. Well, that too, but that's tied into his emotional trauma. Well, yeah, he saw his dad die, but like, so did Bruce Wayne. And he yeah, didn't, people, oh people wait, he both. also <laughs> developed another personality. Never mind. I was about to say, especially if you go by, it, but okay. I mean, Reece, he, he's Reece. not retarded. He can at least fight. Come on, exactly. Now, uh, yeah, if he was retarded, he wouldn't be able to handle himself in a sword fight. There's a reason why you could say, uh, and there's that joke from uh, Tropic Thunder when talking about Forrest Gump. He was a goddamn war hero. How many retarded war heroes do you know of? Isn't there also one that says never go full retard? Yeah, you went full T retard. That was the same line. Okay, that's what I thought. Never go full retard. Oh my god. <laughs> that's fucking funny though. But it's not bad. We'll get there. Um I I do like these skins better. I, mm -hmm. I think anything's better than what we got with that Molina season. Like I mm -hmm. feel like they should be absolutely making up for that, but whatever. Yeah. What'd you do with your hair this morning? Did you make it different? No. <laughs> I just have a feeling Hooded is seeing something else. He's either a too so high, which is weird because he should be at work. So like that he's seeing things that aren't there or something. Or Hooded, Hooded, he you're just loves your hair. Could be that. Oh goodness. Um, but yeah, there's Ermac's gonna be awesome. He real like I'm I know I give Joseph shit, but he really did steal the show. Mm -hmm. I have not seen more people excited for a character to come back than I have for Ermac. Because and it's really it's been how long since he's been playable? Was he in ten? Oh, sorry, when is he yeah, yeah. Was it nine. 10? Oh Wait, nine, yeah. So he had that You're right, um, he appeared in ten and he was you yeah. could fight him, but he was not playable. And in 11, he was in the crypt, and his outfit was fucking amazing. Mm -hmm. And we never got that render of it, which is a crime in itself. I think that's going to be one of the ones we'll see. I have a feeling, strong feeling it will. Let's talk about Zorro first. All right. Well, don't you want to talk about the comic news first? No. All right. We'll save that to the end. Um. So, um... Zorro. So I have, I'm not like, I, I do feel like it takes a very, very, and I like Sean Gordon Murphy. Mm -hmm. I, I, I think he's great. Um, but he was an MKX and fully playable. What the fuck? He was? I always played. I never played him. I think. Oh, yeah, he was fully playable. Um, I never oh. played him because. Wait. What there hooded? was not a better katana than an MKX. Let's be what hooded what? Hmm? Wait, I don't know if this is a piss joke or a gay joke. I don't know either. What? I mean, like, because R. Kelly pees on shit. You know what I mean? <laughs> the fox does not look terrified. He looks so cute. What is the name? Bandino or something? Yeah. He's adorable. Okay, so there was this. Oh no 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 no! He doesn't look terrified. He looks terrified, and then that look at his face is like, "Oh dear." No, he looks sweet, and he looks like yeah. you could pet him, and he could become your best friend. And I'm pretty sure, if given the chance, Steph would adopt him. Mm-hmm. Um. So. <laughs> um. I like I like Sean Gordon Murphy a lot, but I'm not one to like sugarcoat things. So this isn't his best work by far. Mm -hmm. His best work has been with Batman. It very much so feels like he's writing Batman. There's even a White Knight reference in this. Yeah, um, I'll, I'll say this. It pales compared to plot holes. I thought plot holes was a bit more engaging. Oh, absolutely. And also, um, I know Reese won't like this because there is some like racy stuff in here. 
like what do they call the white what is that is it a bad word if i say it a gringo what? is that a bad word you, okay. you're asking the wrong guy you're asking the wrong guy that's what they call him i'm, saying, I'm saying you're asking the wrong guy i don't know is gringo a slur i keep saying it over i don't think so i, I don't think so um no, it's not a bad word. Okay, so I don't know my slurs. I just was making sure. Um, but they also do a little bit of, like, that's another thing I can picture Reese not liking. Just simply because they're like, why are you here and you're white? Well, you're brown. Like, they do a little bit of that. Mm -hmm. um, we get to see Zoro's secret later, secret lair. Um, and it's, she's still not, like, obviously convinced. Um, I thought Trejo was going to be the good guy in this. I thought I wrong. Apparently, here's the mm -hmm. stuff with like, where is it here? Um, about the brown skin and the white skin and stuff like that. Um, but uh, we find out that they are connected because the reason why she got into the El Rojo, the gang was because she stole a car from the gringo. Ah. You didn't read this, did you? I breathed through. I did not. I actually didn't get a chance to read through it all the way. I got started and then other books. Gotcha. Um, his uh, Esperanza, uh, mm -hmm. which is the main chick's lover. I can't mm -hmm. remember her name. Um, um, it means a white American, I think. Okay. I don't fucking know. I've seen it in here and I was like, ooh, am I allowed to say that? Like, I'm white. Am I going to get in trouble? Like, I didn't know. Um, They burned down a church. There's a big old fight. Like, there is a lot of action, which I feel like is a really, really well orchestrated. Um, And it was in, okay, there's some action. um, But a lot of this, most of this is taking place from the sister's viewpoint. Mm -hmm. She's the one which that... I, which, given the situation with Zoro, how he truly thinks he is Zoro, I think I get why he's going that way, because he wants to be a guy in the modern day who truly thinks he's Zoro. If we do it from his perspective, it could come off being a different type of story entirely, where it be, it, it's the Don Quixote story... But we're doing it where you're not doing it from Don Quixote's perspective. No, you're doing it from her perspective. And she right. and she's not accepting she's not accepting everything, but she does believe enough in her brother to yeah. accept his I guess what she would consider them flaws. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's that was the white knight thing because they said the gringo is white and he won't leave. So she called him a white knight. Get it? <laughs> I thought that. I actually thought that was really funny. Um, but we do get a little bit from his perspective, and his whole thing comes down to, and this this is like it's it's very Batman esque, but also like superhero in a nutshell. His whole thing comes down to um, hope. Mm -hmm. Diego believes that he instills hope, and he kind of does in Esperanza. She stands up for the whole town. Better late than never, I guess. They go in and basically steal the information that they need. And they have Esperanza actually kidnapped. So, of course, she doesn't want her girlfriend, like, in that situation. Right. Um, and there's a big old fight. This is why I said uh, Trejo, which I originally thought was going to be, like, the softy, was not. Because he, he, he betrays him. Yeah, he shoots Diego. And that's kind of where we end it. Um, yeah, before going into the ending. And wait, is there only four issues? I thought there yeah. were six. Four. No, it always said it was four. Oh. Why do you think the final cover makes it look like he's going to die? Oh. Oh, that's disappointing. I thought it was six and we could flush out a little bit more of that story. No. Nope, it's four. Looks like he just had a story to tell, and he's just telling that story. Um, not a Zoro fan. 
Not a I'm strong, a, not a, a strong Rocky fan. man for me. I'm a moderate fan, most, a multi fan of the the uh, Mask of Zorro. Is With that Antonio, Antonio Banderas? Banderas? Yeah, 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 that one. Freaking gringos, always messing <laughs> up the story. Freaking no, but gringos. like, I would say it's pretty even. Nah, no, I wouldn't. No, I wouldn't. Um, I'd say it's like seventy five percent, seventy percent her, thirty percent him. Yeah, but again. It's one of the, I, I understand it from a writer, why a writer, why he would come up with it this way. Like I said, if you were to do it from his perspective, then you'd have to see it through his eyes, which would mean doing stuff like how he sees the world, which is probably almost exactly like he's seeing everything through the lens of it, which is not what he wa wants to tell. But I could also see that story being very good. His did or whatever he suffers from seeing it through those eyes could lead to oh, no, a lot of stories exactly i agree with that i agree with that but i think i just think he wanted to keep it grounded and not fall into the um again more fantastical which would be what obviously uh, diego is seeing yeah i mean i get that but i i don't know I, again, not a big Zorro fan, but this is... Ray just made a good point. Trejo's it, character usually betrays the, his friends and employers in the Mexico trilogy. Okay, well, maybe there's still time. Because he does have them up, you know, between mm -hmm. a rock and a hard place right now. Yep, you, you know, the Mexico tri trilogy. El Mariachi, Desperado, and Once Upon a Time in Mexico. No, I definitely thought you were just talking about a movie called the Mexico trilogy. How, why would there be a movie that's called a trilogy? I mean, when people say the <laughs> Batman trilogy, you know they're talking about three, the Nolan. There's still three movies, though. Yeah. You just said, I thought you were talking about a movie called the Mexico trilogy. I thought it was called the Mexico, and it was a trilogy. Oh, no, no, no. Okay. He is a good writer. Oh, yeah, he is he a is. good writer. And to be fair, when I had him on the channel, mm -hmm. he never, ever made mention of her being... None of that stuff about her being the main came out until after I had him on the channel. And I will still say he's a good writer. I will say this is not his best work. <laughs> Raymond, shut up, Robert. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. But I, I, um, I still enjoy... Like, all of his White Knight stuff, Mm -hmm. in some of the best stuff at DC in recent years. Agreed. Like, I get that's probably not saying much to some people, but I asked him a lot of questions when I had mm -hmm. him on, and he never mentioned it. So, I mean, I don't... I still think this is for somebody. Somebody that's a big fan of Zorro. Yeah. And again, it's a specific story he wanted to tell. We shouldn't downplay him for not telling the story that we would want to see. Exactly. It just... I think it would have been more fair if he was more clear in the um, in the description mm -hmm. in interviews before. Because even any other interviews I've seen about this book, he didn't mention it until he was on Purchase Channel. And that, and I, like again, I have I'm all for creative freedom. I think he, if he wants to tell this story through her eyes, awesome. Just be upfront about it. Mm hmm. Oh, Reese is a big fan of Zorro. Damn it. So mm. when are you getting is he are you not getting yours, Reese, until um all four issues are out? I wonder. Yeah, again, I wonder, I wonder. Again, like I said, I get it. He has a specific tale he wanted to tell. Just be and, more upfront about it. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. And again, I don't think anyone yeah. would have had an issue. I agree. Eh, given how Reese is oh. acting, I think he would have had an issue, period. Just because. No, I, I disagree. And the reason I disagree is because um, he wouldn't have. I, I doubt, and I, I could be making assumptions, but I don't think he would have backed it had he known. And I think it. True. I think Sean knew that a little bit in his head. Maybe, maybe not. I think he probably knew people would have taken it to the worst extremes, which they did, if he was up front. See, I was right. He wouldn't have bought it. If you would have known, 
and many people would have known. It would you have been one of those other crowdfunded books that we're trying to play off after um, Scott uh, and Sean's um, campaign. Wait, what you are know, you talking about? JDA tried to do one, and then someone else tried to do one. You know, in Commons Gate. Oh, I don't. I don't fucking pay attention. Not that <laughs> close to attention. Um, but yeah, Zoro. Zoro's a. If you want to read it. Mm-hmm. Or just wait for one more fucking issue. Mm-hmm. And just binge it. I mean. Oh, yeah, I did see this. They're filming Peacemaker. Yep. With, um, Gunn only directing a few episodes. No, that's a fucking shame. I'm sure he's well, busy. Well, well, yeah, exactly. So he's made clear he's not directing at all. Well, that's a shame. All right. So what do you have up first? All right. Give me a second. Give me a second. I had other stuff upward up. See, and I had people on here like um uh Minutes to Midnight guy, Trevor. Um he came on here and he was very like about his new book, his superhero book. He was very mm-hmm. open and about it being, you know, the deconstruction of masculinity. That's what I appreciate in about an interview is somebody being open like that so that's if that's not for you you don't back it right it's exactly. not something you're interested in that's just what i wish sean would have done he wouldn't have had issue yep there's the batman and look who's showing up again oh punchline's back yep and the riddler it looks like yeah it's just we're getting some stuff with the um yeah with the joker and how showing that one of the times when Joker showed up in the back cave, he actually saw failsafe. What's up with Joker's hair? Oh, this is I think this is during Endgame, I think. Hey. Okay. I think this- or this is supposed to be the joke and Joker when he was younger when he first landed in the back cave. As he had said he once did. What do you want? Okay. Keep talking. <laughs> yep, sorry. But yeah, yeah, we're seeing, you know, we're finding out a bit about how we understood about Zura and R. Um, and wait a minute, is this the right issue? Even? Yeah, it is. We're basically, we're getting things, co- uh, uh, connecting things with year one, Joker year one. And we're finding a bit more about that one mentor who helped them to help create Zura and R. Um, and now we're seeing the rest of the family are getting a bit concerned about this you know fail safe as batman okay sorry my cat wanted uh, in the bathroom and she just kept or he just kept yelling and yelling and yelling and yelling okay it re- <sighs> would you say that and that he flat out lied or no i would say he gave a political answer yeah I, uh, I think he, I, I wish you would have been more honest with it. Yeah, but I think yeah, I think he danced around it because he probably wasn't ready to tell and bring it up. And he even told the story about um, how he didn't want to lead with that, and it made it seem like it was secondary to storytelling. And it is her queerness has nothing to do with the story, but. Besides the fact that we see Esperanza, and that's not even anything. You're muted. Can you guys hear him? I can't hear him. Hello. There we go. Yeah, I, this thing, my uh, cord for my mic is so loose. Do you have a, what is it, a snowball? Or a... Yeah, snowball. Yeti? Yeah, yeah, blue yeti, yeah, blue yeti. Blue, yeah, that's they, the they're cars. really bad about that. Really bad. Yeah, but like I said, so it's all getting caught up. We have Harley here, so we have punchline and Harley. Mm. I'm practically a justice leaguer. I'm a hero now, you said. That was that. This is now. Justice has come to gossip. So basically, fails there was like, doesn't matter what you've done now, what you did before is what matters. Is she wearing sweatpants? Well, he caught her in the middle of just being at home. Oh, she was in bed. Okay. And she was just chilling at home. <laughs> and oh boy, he knocked out. He got he got her babies. 
Wait, they're not demon dogs anymore or whatever? Yeah, that, that's in her book. Okay. Which I haven't been following, but... Yep. I just liked it, though, that Punchline is helping to get her busting everyone out. All is this per- Dark Prison story over now? Not yet. Not yet? Okay. Still got a bit a bit ways to go. It basically, unlike your Joker Year One, which went weekly, this one's not weekly. Okay. Yep. Oh, but yeah, Superman's going to have to is showing is meeting up with him. He does not look happy. And look, they actually they connected back to World's Finest their first when they first met the Phantom Zone case. And I'm not just Batman. I'm Bruce, your friend. If that's true, then what happened, Bruce? Barbara said you were killed, that you upload your conscience. How is that possible? Yeah, pretty much calls them out and everything. Uh, And basically, he is being skeptical and believing him. Okay. Yeah, and that's that's it for that one. Um... (laughs) Yep. What's your oh oh oh? Yes. By the guy. Yep. Feral. Feral. Yes. Oh my yes. God. Do you remember Stray Dogs? Yep. Yep. And I know about this. But what? I read this one. I have read this one. Oh my God. I okay. So you get uh, Trish uh, Forstner on yep. any sort of animal book, and I'm there. Like her yeah, it's, animals it's, it's, are incredible. She is matching up with the Don Blue style. Like you sing to something out of, you know, all dogs go to heaven and all that. It's so good. And this isn't, to my understanding, this isn't related to Stray. It's just a different story. They're telling the world. Them. Telling the world. Yes. Um, but it's, I, it's pretty much the real cat. world. And it's cats. Cat instead of dogs, yeah. Yes, I love it. And it's so much better. So I never finished that book. I don't remember what it was called. Animal Town, well, maybe? Oh, oh, that one, yeah. By Tom yeah. King. Hold on, I got a cough. Okay. Uh, yeah. Uh, okay. <laughs> oh, my God. I've had such Good a bad boy. cough the last few days. Reese is really held up on saying it. Zoro's sister and her... <laughs> her reach- <laughs> Brother. Okay, first of all, Reese, I'm autistic. I have autistic brothers, and that makes me a little sensitive that when people go on just throwing retarded like that, just so willy nilly. Especially when I look at how her brother is, and he is not retarded. No, he's not. But I don't think he means it like in the clinical standpoint. Well, he keep, well, he keeps bringing it up. It, he keeps bringing yeah, it up. I think he just means it like he's dumb. He's not like there's something off with him. I don't think he means it like. He is clinically mentally retarded. Well, still though, just throwing it around haphazardly like that, just I don't. It's there's Reese. few words. I know. I'm just saying, there's few words that get to me, and that's one of them. There's few words. So I found my new favorite word today, guys. Okay, you're gonna say <laughs> in a more jokey tone. I know. I'm just kidding. Um, would, I would make an exception. Okay, yeah. One other thing about the story we have to deal with rabies as well. Yes, there, there's like this. I mean, it's called Feral, but there's like, there's something in this world and it's more than just rabies because yeah. like it's, it's they're, making they're these other, cr- yeah, they're just house cats and it's making these other creatures like damn near super powered. Like mm-hmm. I- I'm not sure what we're going to find out, but they were being driven to a different place and some animal made them crash. What's the love- one, the rapid one? Yeah. I- this is Patch. Um, and I don't remember her name, but she's my favorite because she keeps looking for her. I don't know if it's her brother or her son, and she just keeps like, yeah, Lord, Lord, Lord. She just keeps, oh, it's so freaking cute. Like, it's adorable. <laughs> really, Reese? <laughs> hey, I'm a chick. Now yeah. I'm offended by the word chick. <laughs> okay, no, really. Don't, do you really don't. Okay, Elsie. Okay, okay. That's her name, Elsie. Yeah. Um, but now we get a little mystical. This, this is this is this. Okay, meet your big. Okay, so it is sister. Um, mm-hmm. this is Lord. I love him. He's so cute. Um, but he's kind of like the. She feels like she has to take care of him. She meets the first animal with this a raccoon. Yeah, with this rabies type disease. I don't know exactly what it is yet. 
Well, um, it was, the, the, the uh, description kept saying it, they were it's rabies. Yeah, but I I don't think it's just that. Like, look how ginormous this thing is compared oh, yeah, to some of these made a bit. Well, to be fair though, most raccoons are and do get bigger than cats. Yeah, but like four times its size. Come on now, there's gotta well, be. Look at. We're seeing it from their perspective. It's definitely more than rabies. Oh, and then we have foxes show up, and boy, they just shred into that raccoon. Yeah, like rabies don't don't cause this amount. Maybe I don't know. I don't fucking know. Um, it but can, they end it up can. They end up eating the person, and they end up finding Lord. Oh my God, yeah. he's so like. Does this look like Disney to you? Like it just Again, looks- I, it's Don Blues. It's Don Blues. You know, American Tale, Land Before Time, like that, Old Dogs Go to Heaven. Yes, it's so... Ooh, and he worked at Disney. He worked at Disney, so... Okay, then that's why I... Oh, yeah, okay. Okay, I, I had to Google Don Bluth. I love... Trish is so talented. Okay, it's Sean, so I just, uh, 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 Sean, I mean, Reese says, oh, you went from saying Sean's not a bad writer, now saying he's a shit writer. Make up your mind! No, he's a good writer. It's just not his best work. Oh yeah, I but mean anyway. it is Batman stuff. I really, I I feel like was almost universally loved. Like I don't, re- I remember White Knight coming out and everyone was really into it. And I don't remember about after that. Right, but yeah, we find out what's going on. But we didn't at the very end. We find out that Patch got nicked. Yes, which so, means if it's rabies, yeah, he's gonna he's already getting it. Yep, his eyes are already starting. Freaking Patch, I. It's so cute. And we this, there's still that one big cat who's staying around. We don't we haven't we didn't see what happened to them yet. Oh yeah, there was one that they were like we're I'm just gonna wait. Yep, yep. I don't know. I I'm feel like these this two are go. such a good team on animal books. This first one was a suspense thriller. This feels like a slasher. Like an animal slasher? Yeah, because the first one, let's be honest, first one, like I said, was a suspense thriller, like a more Alfred Hitchcockian. I love it. I love it. I I like, actually, I I think I have another Tony Fleece um, book on my list this week, just because I liked his work on Stray Dogs so much. I think it's, maybe it's Cullen Bunn. I'll have to look. But, um. Wait, which one? For which? Adorable. Um, I think it's. Is it Uncanny Valley that Tony oh, Fleece writes? Oh, 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 that one, yeah. I think that's his. I think, I think. But it's cute. Um, it's seven, Oh, I know it is, because it's definitely a ripoff of something epic, but I still like it. Oh, <laughs> Reese blames you. Reese blames you. Reese, I'm sorry. He, I still stand by saying he's a good writer. Even the best writers can have bad books. <laughs> I, mean, I like how Robert mentions Hitchcock and Tristan pauses. I had to think. You know, Alfred Hitchcock, the bird, psycho, re- rear window. Yeah, the mom thing. The mom thing. The shower scene. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, psycho. Yeah, psycho. Uh, Einstein Kills did a song about that. That's why I know it. Yeah, so that's what I'm saying. That's what Stray Dogs was very Hitchcockian. Yeah. Hey, Steph. Or Docs. Or Dax. Um, but oh, yeah, yes, you're this right. book Wrong was really, really good. Yep. <laughs> hey, it's one of the indies I read. There we go. And it, it's worth it. I love their work. I do. I, I think hey, on, they're, they they're could coming. do like such a cute animated series. Please is coming to Motor City. I'll get a recording for you. Oh, uh, he's so good. He really is. Yep, but yeah, so we get the ending for Superman 78, The Metal Curtain. As we're seeing as Superman's fighting wait, off against- Wait, wait, wait. I want to show stuff. Stuff. I feel like this is the fox that you should tame. I feel <laughs> like you could do it. You could fix him. His name is Bandino, and he will love you forever. Okay, go yep. ahead. Sorry. No worries. As I was saying, <laughs> Superman is facing off against Metallo, all the while saving any Russian, you know, civilians who get in the way. Um, and remember, throughout all of this, Metallo has been told that Superman is corrupt, that he is evil and everything. But then he basically says, you know, like, why did you believe you could uh, live? Because it isn't me I believe in. I believe in you. 
Why, what do you believe in now, Superman? Your American ways, your individualist trappings, nothing against a single Soviet heart. You do, and then the girl, you don't have to be mad. He doesn't want to hurt anyone. He stopped the pillow from crushing our daughter. He helped me at the fountain. But Superman kept the building from falling and all, and all the people inside. Yet he is the weapon of the oppressor. He is the enemy. But if that's just what they told us, Russia, America, your weapons and ours, the world wants us to fear one another, to hate. No one is perfect, Metallo, especially not me. And we all have it inside ourselves to be good to each other. But then when the military show up and even said, follow orders or we'll have, you will be replaced, that ticks them off. Because he basically realizes, yeah, they're all right. So, and he says, they're not, no one's going to use this again. He gives Superman his real name, and then he flies in the air and self-destructs. So that no one else would use the kryptonite or the armor. And it ends then showing that things can change, things can come out, you know, be different. While Superman's still recovering you know, from, the, um, from the kryptonite. And then to show that he's good, once he does feel better and, and everything, to give him still hope. He shows up toward you know, to the you know the planet staff, as we didn't see that yet. There are those in in um, Russia, like the little girl, who believe in Superman now. It's a nice one, but I gotta say this this mini pales compared to the first one. Hello. Oh, I was muted. <laughs> My bad. I was checking to see if they had the Mortal Kombat update out yet, and I was muted. Oh, well, I haven't seen anything about the update yet. I think it usually comes out at like 11, I thought. Maybe not. Or one. Or one, yeah. I always forget which one like This mini was not as strong as the first one, but it was still strong. It's still good. I mean, that's a good question. I think it was just because Gary says, what's the, it's the setting? It's the setting. It's the setting. It's so well, it Red so Sun was so good, and it really, people really liked it. And now, wait, how's um, it, wait a minute. How's it upset that Red And we lost Robert again. He must have hit his cord. Hello. There we go. There we go. As I said, um... Like what? And what else is there? You've had him in um, Red Sun, and then this. What else? What's an obsession? What's the obsession? Um, didn't they do some stuff in um in Doomsday Clock in Russia? Also, oh well, yeah, well yeah, there's that too. Yeah, but that was that's true. But like I said though, this this is set you know Superman seventy eight. This is set you know around the time of the movies, and that was still during the Cold War. That's really cute, though. I like that they gave that he gave her hope. That's a good ending. It is. It very much is, and but it shows that, of course, that the the you wall, know, like the Soviet Union, isn't going to collapse anytime soon. But it's right up there with Rocky Four, though. It's all like if you can change, I can change, everyone can change. Totes. I knew that okay. happened to Rocky Four. No, you didn't. Just be honest. Wait, it's a pro-American comic? Aren't all comics pro-America? Uh, uh, someone just tipped you. I'm going to get it. Okay. Um, Not all, but I mean, like, most of them, especially Superman, I feel like. I don't read Superman anymore. By the way. I have this... heard that the House of Brainiac shit is really, oh, really it is. good. It like, is. I, that, may, that may be something that I have to go back to because I've seen people praise this. Crazy. Yep. Okay. It just says anonymous. Naked yep. comics wear. Asking for um research, art appreciation, of course. Hope um you are all doing well. Breathing better, I hope. I've only had to mute once today to call. Um, but curious yes, on who said that? Curious. I am sure said it's it's Alvis, and it's good to see you. But yes, naked comics will be coming. I it promise. Is... <laughs> you sure? Uh, you sure it's him? No, I'm not. But. Thank you for whoever it is. I, that's that's just <laughs> right. my guess by the writing, by the da, 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 yeah, but, da, da, by da, the da. writing, by the writing. But they haven't they haven't insulted me yet because they're playing nice. But I wanted one I want to just breeze through quickly is uh, or two I wanted to breeze through quickly. Godzilla versus Power Rangers two. Oh my god! 
But the first one was good. Uh, I believe you. You don't care about either. I don't. And, not even. A and that's bit. why I que- that's why I question your nerd card. I mean, but this there's like a levels of entry, right? Mm-hmm. And like I feel like Power Rangers is at the top of the fucking level. Like if you reach Power Rangers level, you are nerd elite. You have yeah. got the pro package. You are paying nine ninety nine a month to make all the decisions for other fellow nerds. Yeah, well, basically here because the last one, first mini de- mention about the multiverse, we're seeing that on a different world there's a White Ranger. Um, we don't know if it's Tommy or not, and then. They meet up with um um with the and the Rangers of the world we followed in the first one, which still has Tommy as the Green Ranger, and we're seeing that Rita's teaming up with Astronema, the villain from Power Rangers in Space, the fourth series, and basically it's just setting things up that um show, you know just show you know setting up what the stakes are in this new world. The nexus of nerdum, I like that. <laughs> Unfortunately, we do not have Freddie E. Williams on artwork except for the covers. Which is a shame. That's a crying shame. He did a great job on the first one. He's the king of crossovers. Totes. Come on, the guy who did Batman Ninja Turtles. Yeah, that, that does not look good there. That's not a very good angle. No, it's not. And then the other one I just want to show because I told you my one issue was it. Oh yeah, I haven't read it. Yeah, I'm just getting the book for the um the codes. No, I get it. I and I'm gonna read it. I just because I wanna know about it, I guess, but yeah, we see Croc is still around. We see Harley is, you know. Wait, like, didn't uh, you say they who they kill off in this issue? Uh in the ventriloquist. Oh yeah, and they give her her original outfit, but we yeah. can't have it. Fuck it. I know, right? This is why. I am I am convinced that this comic was done made before they did that. That's so stupid. Should be like the top tier on the battle pass. Should be able to get Harley's skirt. It's worth more than the fucking what are they? Batman Beyond skins. Yep. But seriously, after all this point of thinking that um that Ventroquist was dead, you know, in the Arkhamverse, because that's what they kept implying. We find he's alive. Just to then see him get killed off by um, they, this um, some of Waller's men using freeze tech. Can you imagine how cool Ventriloquist would have been as a DLC? Like, I feel like there's a lot they could have done with that. You could have had him like shy mm-hmm. into oh, I forget his name. Whatever. Scarface. Name Scarface. No, no, the the guy that puppets him. Oh, Bento- oh, um, um, um. What is I forget Bento- his real name. Uh, I just, I just blanked on it too now. Um, but you could add him shy into that. You could have used, I don't know, maybe it would have been hard for traversal, but I feel like it would have been cool. True, but um, but yeah, and that, but then we see Harley just on her own takes down um so many of the thugs to the point like Harley's making mincemeat of our guys. What? But but she doesn't have any real power. Unless you consider being crazy and really, really pissed off a power. Either I recommend we further enhance the armor. We don't even know what she did, but... That's fucking awesome. I make you wonder what she did, right? I mean, I and that's so cute. Look at it. Yeah. Give us that outfit. I I agree. Oh, my goodness. Um, yeah, he's an old man. I guess that the more I think about it, the more it wouldn't work. But mm-hmm. like it would have been, I just like him. He's cool. He's psychotic. Yep. Uh again, another one just breathing through because I met up with her. Oh Jody my god. Can... And then I have one. Okay. I'm just breathing through these th- these ones and then because nobody said you had to breathe through them. I am. I am. I'm just saying, this is Josie K- just showing off that Josie Campbell, who again I met up with, <laughs> is the White Ranger named the Grand Wizard? <laughs> oh my white god, Ranger that's tiger. so fucking funny! White Ranger and then White Tiger, a White Tiger power. Oh my god, but is he the Grand Wizard? 
given <laughs> how we put Jason, given how they portrayed um Tommy in universe, not Jason David bring himself, but Tommy the character as Native American descent. I don't think so. Oh my god. Oh my god, yeah. that's funny. But yeah, but wait, thing, wait, I, hold on, hold on, hold on. Why could Harley not carry a mallet? Can girls not carry things that are above 20 pounds? Come on, we did Harley always have a huge ass mallet. Come on now. It ain't even that heavy. Trust but, me. Oh, by the way, I did ask um Josie and she said. She's doing her best to bring back as much of the pre New Fifty Two elements to the point where she I does, wondered she does want to have Billy and um, Mary be brother and sister again. I wondered because just the way it started with this was the one that started with the um, the dinosaurs and well, that was that was still wait that was still wait. She's just picking oh, up right wow. now. Okay, so she's been, but that's what she's been wanting to do. In fact. The whole point behind her mini series, I found out, was she wanted Mary to stand on her own so she wouldn't have a, oh, Billy loses the power, she loses the power. Hence right. why they came up with the own Pantheon. Okay. Oh, look, the Shaz Van. Shaz Van. So Shazam. Oh, my God, that's funny. Yeah, but again, she's off to a good start. And she, you could definitely tell she knows a lot about, she adores. The Shazam family. Like I said, she wants to bring so much of it back. And she's the one who brought back Hoppy the bunny. That's awesome. And last last skim through is just this. No. It, Hold so, on. I'm just saying, Chill the those, fuck out. It's the last breezy. All the other ones I'm gonna talk more about. Okay, let me get these super chats first. Oh, sorry. That's oh okay. no. <laughs> oh my god. The Snyderverse is Scott Snyder was a fucking play on words. And Comics Gate puts out three comics every two and a half years. Stop it. Um, Frog Tony is never wrong. Um, go get a Sturgis caricature mug drawn by EVS. Just $15. Nerd Up Fear second eight. Um, I actually think that I seen that Tony bought like a Sturgis caricature that was drawn by him. Mm -hmm. But instead of just like it was like original art from EBS. It was like $300. So instead of just like letting it, having original art, he made it into merch. I thought that was pretty cool, actually. For what it is. Mm -hmm. um, anonymous, I can't imagine Power Rangers and Godzilla fighting each other ever. They have so much fun destroying public infra infrastructure. The Rangers never they intentionally destroy be anything. Playing. The, the Rangers never intentionally destroy anything intentionally. Oh my God, that's funny though. No, I can't see it either. That's why I won't read it. Right, but as I was just saying quickly, Immortal Sword. This is basically can just continuing on with this whole notion about you know stories altering Thor meets up with the Enchantress and uh, Minotaur, and then at the very end we find we find out about the Roxxon presents Thor book, which we'll be seeing um this week. And basically seeing how things, Ooh, you know, there. his history. Hey, you thought this whole idea was interesting. The idea of story, that because the comic exists, they can alter his story, his actual life story through it. Yeah. Super interesting. Now let's go to a good book. Freaking, this book is so good. Immortal Thor is better. I doubt it. It's Marvel. Let's be real here. Um, Birds of Prey. This is issue eight. This takes place right after they were, they went and talked to Vixen and she's willing to help them, but she's, they're helping her out with a fashion show. Um, uh, wait, Vixen in a fashion show? She's, hold on, what? Why are you confused by that? When has Vixen ever been the fa doing fashion? Oh my God, are you fucking with me? She's a model. She owns a business that employs. Okay. Vixen's not always been a character I focus that much on. Oh, my God. What's wrong with you? I, what? Vixen is awesome. I like Vixen. I do like Vixen, the character. But well, look, let me put it this way. The most I've seen of Vixen was when she was in the post-Infinite Crisis Justice League, especially when Dwayne McDuffie wrote her. But he Maybe focused it's mostly your internal her. racism. I don't know. They people say my internal misogyny, so I thought that maybe was a thing. Internal for the internal internal racism is that someone if I was black, I'd be having internal racism. Whatever. 
I didn't know that's what it meant. Oh, yeah, that makes more sense because internal massage. Okay, yeah. Maybe it's your yeah. external racism. <laughs> I love Sin, though, because she's like, <laughs> talk about <laughs> hey, hey, hey. I at least acknowledge about her abilities, how, you know, they actually connect that dependent to Animal Man's abilities. Yeah, but you didn't know that Vixen, her whole backstory is being a model. Okay. She's always done fashion. That's fair. Oh, my God. Hey, again, there's some characters that fall off the radar. How many, how many characters do I reveal I know more about than you? I'm allowed a Seven. few characters I don't know that much about. That's fair. That's fair. Um, so we we see Sin is uh kind of they're all there obviously to see if anything goes down, but Sin comes in and she's like, I'm the caterer, like trying to be funny. <laughs> they do this whole like so they've got a bunch of like dudes behind them, right? They're supposed to be like eye candy. Mm -hmm. And they do this whole like meat bags joke where they call them that. And <laughs> And they say it, they say it like one too many times, but even so, it's supposed to be funny. Or not meat bags, beefcake, beefcake. <laughs> I don't know what I was thinking. Um, but it ends up being that they were the actual ones that were under the control. And for some reason, Barton thought her clothes might also be causing this like uh, brainwashing. Yeah. So she strips naked and just fights the entire I love the censorship. I love the censorship. I love the censorship. It's so fun. I love Barda. She's the best. She just Remind fights everything it, totally naked. It reminds me of that issue of Hardy's Little Black Book with her and um, um, uh, Lobo. And they kept having these red flags running around to censor everything. I love it. It's so good. But they end up fighting the beefcake. Who are really, um, they don't know what they are. Um, and they mm -hmm. <laughs> still, she's just standing there the whole time, fucking naked, trying to talk to him, like debrief. She finally <laughs> gets clothes on, and something opens up, a portal opens up, and it takes Babs. Which kind of feels like this is almost what was prophesied, except she, man, but she's exactly. not dead. Yeah, exactly. And um, obviously, Canary says, don't come with me. And she goes after her, to which everybody, you know, goes with her. Of course. And they just walk, walk in. It's like, nope. Yep. And, it, I mean, Barta did put clothes on. That's unfortunate. But, it, it like, <laughs> she put a whole ass curtain on. <laughs> it took looks, that much to looks more like two curtains. It looks more like two curtains, which would make more sense. That would make more sense for it to be two curtains to cover up her. Oh, my God. I love it. It was so funny. Like. This I really, really like. Hold on. Kelly Thompson. Mm -hmm. I have another book of hers on. No, maybe not this week. No, not this week. She also writes The Call. Mm -hmm. This C-U-L-L. -L, incredible book. Really, really good book. And, and this book has been one of the best at DC. Mm -hmm. I really like it. Okay, so this is this the Brainiac stuff? Yep, House of Brainiac. Okay. And now it's implied, I don't know if it's made clear yet, but it's implied that the Brainiacs are the Council of Light. Wait, what? That that's, happened? That's what's implied. It's not made clear yet. So the Council of Light was never the Council of Light, possibly? Oh, to be fair, the Council of Light's always been other villains. Yeah, but they're all Brainiacs. Again, that's the pot, the rumor. That's the rumor. Okay, okay, that makes sense. But yeah, we see um, Lois going out to do some. Um, uh, Lois's birthday is off in years. Leave me alone. Pete Rock mixtape. Lois only. No Clarks allowed. <laughs> what is she doing? The yoga or something? Going yeah, for a like, run? Going to, yeah, yep. She's going for a run first, and um, sees her like we need, and Perry and Lois. We need to talk. You sure do, Barry, and we will, but not today. Today is my day. Because <laughs> it's her birthday? It's her day off. Oh, it's her day off. Okay. Lunch is on me, Miss Lane. I'll take you up on that later, Bibbo. <laughs> I just love that. She's like, look. She's way too happy right now. Well, again, her first day off in years. Lane, looking, I will end you, Lombard. <laughs> oh, my God. 
Uh, uh, Lena, Lex, can you still call me father? <laughs> no. Yep. Oh, uh, um, Jimmy and uh, Shioban. I love it. Wait, I... Shioban's back? Oh, wait, I knew that. I yeah, feel like duh. I knew that. But, um, uh, yep, Superman. Um, and Superman, high five. Wow, you're strong, son. That is so. He's like, oh, you're strong. Oh my God, wouldn't it have been funnier if he hit him and it broke his fucking hand back? And he had, never mind, go ahead. (laughs) It would have been funny. But then, of course, honey, am I late? He's overdressed. Some people were ridiculing this. Oh, he's got a Smallville shirt on. He has a Smallville shirt on. Yep. That's fucking awesome. What are you wearing? You said it was for yoga. (laughs) Yeah, basically, it's too much. Yeah, why is the day special? Why is this the only day Lois really takes off? Oh, she didn't tell you? The day is the day that, come on, Clark, tell, uh, and, and come on, honey. She gets her Clark. first period. I don't know. What is today? We'll, we'll find out, but then this is when Brainiac unleashes his drones mixed with the Zarians. Oh, okay. Yep. And that's, yeah, seriously, just think about that. They're basically, it's a whole city of Lobos. Oh my goodness. So I think we're not going to find out till later what today was. It was so special. But yeah, just calling all this chaos as everyone's attacking and everything. Um, Was that Mercy? Even, yeah, Mercy's telling everyone Mercy to get moving. Good. Yep. Um, then we find out that the hologram was actually LL01, which was for the database and everything. Turns out it has actually been a um, one of the things that Lex had used when he worked with um, um, Brainiac in the past. Oh, okay. Which I think is a reference to New Krypton, because that's when they last worked together was during New Krypton. Oh, okay. Years ago, when you and I worked together, you glimpsed something in my mind, didn't you? You didn't know what it was, but it scared you. And that's... Um, yeah, again, everyone's you know, moving in. Get Lena out of here. Lena's getting, everyone's getting abducted. They're all getting mini bottled, you know, individually. Wait, you your... can do that now? Yeah. Okay. That's not uh, very nice, but. And I don't know, he has his own armor he's using, but it only lasts for 10 seconds. <laughs> Typical like, male. No, I'm please. just kidding. You know, please tell me you're not involved in this, Luther. I wish people would stop asking me that. Because <laughs> otherwise, like, there's an escape plan? Really? Oh, my God. Yep, he's after your family. It is critical that Brainiac not take you or anyone with your powers. How do you know that, Luther? Trust me. Luther! This finance is a distraction, Superman. But yeah, soon so many of them get, are getting abducted, captured. Um, Kara, Connor. Kara's new outfit is fucking terrible. That yeah. That is awful. What the, the fuck? Go back up for a second. Who designed that? First off, Watch. where's her, like, I don't mind pants, but if you're going to do a black top, at least give her a black mini skirt or a red mini skirt. But blue, mm-hmm. black, red, gold, and white. Okay. That's awful. Right. Um. Oh, we and we even have um um. Oh yeah, yeah. There's Shiobon helping out. I uh, uh, how can I help? Keep screaming! Whoop! Get captured. Of course. Yep. So many of them are getting captured. Even though, uh, even um, Lana and um, Ma- uh, Metallo, Parasite, everyone is getting captured. I didn't think anybody caught that. That's funny. Caught what? I you said something about ten seconds, and I said typical male <laughs> outfit is trash. It's so bad. Yep, but yeah, he's saying take me to Brainiac, and then Lex sacrifice himself so Heat Superman doesn't get captured. Um, the only ones that are still there are Steel, um, and and Jimmy Steel, and um, Natasha, and Lois. And look, this, the Council of Brainiacs, all of his past incarnations. Oh, that's cool, though. The, um, 
This, uh, oh, that Brainiac the, has a beard. That's weird. Yeah, that's actually the post Christ, the first look of the post Christ. This one. I hate it so much. And, and that was the first time he became robotic. There's the um um the convergence one. There's the Silver Age one. There's the B thirteen one. There's the anime series one. Um, this is the Silver Age one. They're all all these are based off of different ones that have appeared in the past. And this is why people think the Council of Brainiacs might have been the Council of Light. That's awesome. That would be interesting if that's the case. It would be. Um, Tavia says John doesn't get captured, which is confusing, but the super twins get captured. Well, John wasn't here. Okay. He was probably with Jay. Let's be real here. Possibly. Uh, but I say, the um the uh, the um Council of Brainiacs better than the Legion of Loises. I mean, I I would think so. <laughs> Which um, turns out the League of Loises was based off of the Council of Reeds from uh, Marvel. Okay. Reed um, Richards. Punk. Yes, I know, I know, I know who Reeds is. I know the Council of Reeds. Okay. Um, Punk said, or Punk sent a super sticker, but he also said, and I wanted to make sure that he didn't really. He picked up Birds of Prey, but I do, I do definitely should preface it by saying it's a very like designed for women women book like i don't feel like it it's exclusive but i definitely feel like it's a more girly book but thank you so much punk oh yeah my book mm -hmm. all right next i have grim finally back yep i thought came back last month I mean, okay, I finally read it since it came back. That's a difference. That's the big difference. Yeah, I finally read it. Um, wait, when did it come back? Hold on. I feel like it just came out. It came out um Okay, this is May 1st. That doesn't make any sense. I don't fucking know. It oh it's just, it's getting a second printing, that's why. April 4th. Okay, so it's not really that old. Right. Um, but we find out about <laughs> Raymond, how many books did you read? All of them that are on my list. Actually, I read a couple here. more that were just fucking terrible, like Under York. Oh, I don't know what, what that was supposed what, to be. Wait, what? It's called Under York. Like it New was, York, but underground? Yes, exactly. And it was just, it was not good. It was not good at all. Um, but we find out about the preacher. He was in um, the Afghanistan war. Mm -hmm. And basically survived it by dumb luck. Every time that he was supposed to die, um, either something would happen or someone would get in his way. His, his best friend actually died. And as he was... As this is the guy telling the story, the preacher here, as he was out, somebody actually came up and helped them. He just, this is just a lot of exposition here. Mm -hmm. Um, someone from Afghanistan came to help him. And then that's, you know, like having a prisoner of war, but, um, they were willing to actually help him not die. Because if he would have been left out there, he would have died. Um, but in doing so, he took him to a U.S. military base because he was in the midst of dying from the shrapnel. And the U.S. just shoots him. Just shoots Dang. the guy. Man, all he was trying to do was help. So everything he did in the war was basically dumb luck. He didn't do anything brave or stunning. Um, but stunning and brave. Huh? Exactly. He was just he he was what I think what they're hinting at is he was supposed to be able to be alive for this point in the grim story. Huh. And um they they figure out that they need, you know, like she's obviously a grim reaper. Yeah. And um 
he's a preacher, totally opposite of the spectrum, but they, this, the war is inevitable and they need to work together. That was really all it was, was the preacher story. And don't get me wrong. It's, it's still really good. It just was explaining how he got there. I saw she said under yours. No, under York, it, it was an absolute skip. I got through half of it. Not good. (laughs) Oh yeah, Batman and Robin. Batman and Robin, and um, we bring and we continue on more with um, Flatline and her sister. We find out that her her twin sister. So her is she also named Flatline? No, Uh, Flatline inherited the abilities, but her sister became jealous. Okay, and she had her own abilities. She wanted to get into what their grandfather would have done. So she then be, made her own, um, went into the family business. And we find, uh, so why did she come to Gotham? It's a treasure trove of weapons. Everything all the villains have, um, have been le- left lying around. Wait, that's her? Yeah, that's the sister. Okay. Yeah, you can definitely tell because Flatline has the mark and she doesn't. Yeah, well, and the hair is longer. That too. And um, Ben, it looks like Flatline's betraying... Um, Damien to work with um his uh, his sister and uh her sister and he said like I know you're gonna be mad you helped me find my sister and I'm super thankful that but that but I wouldn't exactly be saving her if I let her get arrested would I I get her out of Gotham and then you and I can talk okay you understand right blood is thicker than water um and then we yeah. also find and we find out that um Shush wants to work uh, uh Batman wants to work with Shush to find um Man Bat. Oh, okay. Yep. And try to keep up. Nice view. <laughs> oh, my gosh. What? I don't know. I was just saying, oh, my gosh. Yep. But, yeah, they're heading on over there. Um, the two are talking, but rebonding again. But um, then uh, Damien showed up. He had an anti-freeze protection in his suit. And then it turns out, yeah, Flatline was double-crossing. What this a is bitch. for Con- No, no, no. She did it because she meant to capture her sister so then the DEO can take her in to protect her. Oh, okay. Yep. I can explain. There's the hope. I, 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 I could have just pulled my sister out, but then my grandpa's all crew would have hunted her down. This way, she has a chance she can work with the DEO in secret. But to do that, I need a leader and, lead, and have her, needed her to lead us to her crew. Are you mad I lied to you? No, I'm mad at myself for not seeing it. Oh my but, god. Uh, she said so oh, emo. But he said she said she's gonna stick around for a few days. So then shush you know, again, we're still trying to figure out who she is. What is your connection to Tommy Elliott? The hush. There is no mystery, Batman. I'm nobody. Just another person caught in Gossam's web. But yeah, they show up there. They see oh, this map of the tunnels underground. Um, and Man Bat's ready to distribute his drug. He has this, remember, he has this whole cult. Right. Oh, and Man Bat actually slashes her. Inconvenient. Yep. Um, yep. So yeah, they're getting, they've been ambushed. Oh, that look on her face. She's like, what the hell just happened? She's fucked. Um, and now we see that Flatline is coming to Damien's school. I said inconspicuous. Sorry, I don't do inconspicuous. Now let's get to class. What's wrong with what she's wearing? The white face and everything. So he's mad at her for being white? Typical DC. <laughs> I'm just saying. Undercover in detention, and where is Batman? Again, I've been loving this book. It's been so good. You know, I should have read it. I just, now I'm too far behind. What was the last issue you read? One! Issue one. I read issue one. Fail! Yeah. Fired! You're fired! But I've been reading my indies. This was the Cullen Bunn book I was thinking of. Monsters are my business. Um, this is real. Like Colin Bunn is really good, no matter what. 
Like he's got, I think he did. He do Bone Parish. I know he did. Uh, I'm not sure. I know. I know. I've met. I've talked with, interacted with Cullen Bunn before. I know he's done. Um. Um. um Didn't he do that werewolf book also? Not sure about that. I was gonna say I know he's done Deadpool books. Yeah, but he's done a lot of really indie. good indie books. Again, okay. not sure. I like his stuff usually. Oh, he also did the Bloodborne ones. I know he did. Um, maybe I'm thinking the wrong person. I could be. I don't know. Regardless, he's got Monsters Are My Business. And this is very much so like if, if you mm -hmm. like monsters books. Something happened in this world where they are hunting monsters. And um, here's our first little guy. And they have like this big hulky like guy, but he's got he's got his little pet, and it's so mm -hmm. cute. Hold on, where is he at? He thinks he's right here. They make a joke about it looking like a, a sphincter. Mm -hmm. Um, but we find out that basically in this kind of fucked up hellhole, there it started with acid rain. Mm -hmm. Um, like actual acid rain. And then the high waters came, and now you've got somebody, um, th this kind of like merging of realms, so to speak. And you've got somebody in charge called Mama Torment. Okay, mm -hmm. she wants to be called Mama. Okay, um, but he does what he does on the side is basically find people that are missing. Like this old little old lady was missing her husband, mm -hmm. so. She paid him in chicken and dumplings to find her husband. Like he's he's out and trying to help people. Um, and is the person that he's working with is a necromancer. And mm -hmm. um the government comes in. This guy from his name's Jenkins, and he comes in with a contract with that actually pays real money, right? Not chicken and dumplings, but money. Mm -hmm. Um and he's like, no, I'm not going to do it. He's like, well, these people are out there. It's not their fault. They're stuck in this bad situation. And if you don't help, they're going to die. Right? It's kind of one of those situations. He's like, no. And then he thinks about it for like two minutes. And he's like, sure. Um, so they head out and they try to find everyone. And in doing so, basically, you know, find a whole slew of different monsters. And basically, everyone's dead. Um, and he finds this little monster that wants to talk to him. Mm hmm And he's so cute. He's sad. Aw. It was a fun little monster book. If you're into monster books. Not like highest recommend, but it was good. That's not DC art. No, 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 no. It's not. I, what is it's it? It's not. Is it? I think it's Dark Horse. Maybe. And sorry for the sorry for the loud typing. Sorry, I was um, making a reply to a Facebook comment. Yeah, Dark Horse. It's Dark Horse. Oh, I didn't read this. Tell me about it. Uh, we focus a bit what more on with um them on Gamora, as we're seeing Bizarro and the other Suicide Squad members are fighting their way through. Um, and. Yeah, like, and not even say the, the Bizarro clones. So it's a claim. Make it clear this is separate from the other Bizarros. Okay. Um, and yeah, they're just it's following its own rules. So yeah, not not get away from the control panel. And uh, yeah, they're just fighting their way through. Like, and can't you see what you're doing? You you still think you're any different from us, hero? So she's trying to stop them. Or, uh, uh, so, yeah. But, uh, or someone's trying to stop them, I mean. Wait, but, Robert, but, did you ever read this? I read through a bit, a bit of it, but I more focused on the ending part. Because there's oh, a part, okay, yeah. I can because tell. there's an interesting moment that happens that Bizarro gives a, uh, because Dream's gone AWOL. Um, Amanda is not happy, um... And but what leads to it, then she then sends Bizarre on a special mission involving Jay's mom. Oh, like Jay Nakamura? Yeah. And oh, wait, his mom died. Right? In No, we found out later she survived. It's lived, remember? 
Yeah, now I kind of do. But what? Well, but not for long. Okay, now she's dead. Pretty sure. And then we see Was them. Was there a body? If there's not a body, not yet. There's a not yet. Not yet. Not yet. Okay. But yeah, and then we see Amanda fall asleep as we're seeing a lot of her work coming, you know, building up, you know, with the anti-hero sentiment. And then we see her having a dream with her husband. And she's like, basically, we find out she ended up working, like, she used to be pushing this whole, um, stopping this one politician because it, he wanted to shut down a lot of programs that they've been benefiting from. But right. eventually Amanda joined up with the guy because she realized she has to do it to protect them. Right. To which her husband and is like, what old? You're like, you don't just, ch- that's not what you do. You don't Who just. Who the fuck would marry Amanda Waller? Well, clearly, she was clearly she was a different person in the day back in the day, right? And then Dream shows up in her dream and then cuts it off before and saying like, "I spared you the rest." It gets gross, and then the two argue and basically, you know, she calls her out on everything, like you pushed me into an impossible position, and you think that makes us the same? And none of and none of that uh, ne- needed to happen. Nothing you're planning has to happen. What are you so afraid of? To which, yeah, this is just one of several alternate Earths where Superman de- uh, decided the world uh, and was his for the taking. You don't know what he did to the others. So you're punishing every alien meta here because you're afraid of Superman? Oh, it's not just Superman. If exposing your little town made people realize anything, it's that there's always more going on behind the scenes that and, and that they know about than they know about. People deserve security, consistency, safety. You're seriously going to fight world and to fight world domination with world domination. Yep. So, yep. That's Amanda. I wait, do wait, like, wait, hold on. Is this canon? Yes. This okay. is all this is all leading up to absolute power. Okay. All right. I have this. I just and I plan on reading it. I just haven't yet. But the again, first I, one was really good. Yeah, and I, I like this how they're expanding more on Amanda here. Well, to be fair, I think it's about like Amanda's always had a presence, but no. But I'm saying no. This is filling in a lot more gaps. What's that say? Keep keep awake. She's. Are we supposed it's... to think that she has some sort of like addiction to caffeine? No, Amanda, it's... don't no. go go don't go crazy there. N- no, no, it's more. I'm because... gonna head cannon. It's Adderall. Well, I'm just saying it's more because obviously she doesn't want to have dream enter her dreams again. Ah, uh, oh yeah, that makes a lot more sense. Then it sounds like you have the same lesson to learn as Amanda, because I'm I'm, I'm done being your lapdog. You're in no position where on uh, where how you feel matters anymore. What comes next isn't about objective, good or, and good or bad. The sooner you make your peace with that, the better. Now move your ass. I've got a world to save. Uh-huh. Again, maybe it's like she also got rid of Jay's family. Fucking awesome. So, of course, Tavia loves it. I know that's what it, that was the joke, Robert. <laughs> Which I find that's uh, it's like, seriously, you're just celebrating that things are going bad for him? That's, I, I don't think Jay I thought she that. was already dead. So, I mean, no. Well, we thought either. she was dead, and then we found out at the end of the main Son of Kal El stuff that she survived. Oh, yeah. I need to read it. I'll probably end up reading it. Oh, yeah, so yeah, now it seems like she's dead. Bye bye, lady. And of course, I doubt Tom Taylor would have ever written this because there's no way he would have done it. But you, he wrote with Nicole Maines. I mean, no, I know, but I doubt he would have written J- anything horrible happened to Jay and his family. He it's, he it's, wait, also, Jay is gone. What do you mean, Jay's gone? When did that happen? I don't know. Okay, I have Uncanny Valley. This is the Tony Fleece book I was thinking about. Um, Different artist. Yeah, different artist. This is oh man. I'm gonna say this in the nice way, nicest way possible. This isn't a good cover for one, Uh, but it's also uh, this is a terrible cover. I can't look at it anymore. Oh, he he Um, read the dialogue wrong. Oh, okay. Um, so. This is most definitely, and and I like it. I like the book. It is a ripoff of 
something epic. At least he got his idea from that with the timing of it coming out, you know, about six months later, eight months later. And what happens here at the end, like this is, I like it, but it's definitely, you got your inspiration from something epic. Quit lying. We know. Um, but we see this little boy and you know, that like saying, you know, it, if your friends told you to jump off a bridge with you or whatever it is. Oh boy. Uh, well, that was either a yes or no question, but that's oh, fine. Uh, oh, eh, it depends on the context. If they're all jumping off because the bridge is about ready to collapse, then yeah. Oh, oh my God. Don't jump off a bridge because your friends. I said, if it's to... no, I said if it's collapsing or something bad is going on. So if you're in Baltimore, you can jump off a bridge, but wherever this takes place, don't jump off a bridge because your friends tell you to. He did. Oh, no, yeah, yeah. In that context, no. I wouldn't just do it just because they told me to. Well, he gets in trouble. He finds out. Um, his mom finds out who's a traveling nurse. He's been in a lot of trouble. He jumped off a bridge. Um, he uh, attacked some kids in the lunch, in the cafeteria. Um, and he did some. Oh, there was a disturbance in wood class. and. They give him a second chance, even though it's supposed to be like three strikes and you're out. He's um, he's on a week suspension. His mm -hmm. mom takes him home and she tries telling her that like there was a reason why these things happen and tries explaining it to her. Um, like when in the cafeteria, he actually blew out fire. That's why it was like that. Um and in the, I forget what happened in Woodshop, but um, she 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 kind of believes him. She kind of does it. So basically, they start seeing this is clearly supposed to be He Man. Mm -hmm. They even call him what do they call him? Skeletrons. Uh, Skeletrons, yeah. Oh my god! So he's watching He Man. All these birds start showing up, um, crows, and. She tells him to run like they're trying to run from all these cartoony crows and this character shows up. Yeah. He's supposed to be like some. Yo, Sammy Sam. Yo, Sammy Sam mixed yeah. in with all the blood. Yeah. Um, and he shows up and she's like in the kids like, who the fuck is this? And she's like, well, this is your grandpa. <laughs> <laughs> this is your grandpa. Very clearly taking inspiration from something epic, just saying. Um, but basically the mom kind of sacrifices herself in order to um have her son get away, and then he can do like that cartoon thing where uh, you run really fast. Yeah. The wind up, um, the wind up, the wind yeah. up. Yeah, and he can run really fast with it, and he does. And then he gets in the car with his grandpa who can't even reach the pedals, but that's fine. Um, and then there's something behind him. Okay, I like, think this, is, this is interesting. Normally you would have something where there would be like fo like a photo you know, images with the comic drawn on it, but instead it's two different styles. Realistic yeah. and with Toony. Yeah, I like it a lot. And he shoots whatever this is and we don't know who is following them, but um, it's, it's very, very cute. It's very cartoony and over the top and weird. It's not going to make you think about anything, but it's definitely fun. Meep, meep. And I like Tony Fleece a lot, but like. This is up. This is right up there in its own way with the stray dogs and all that. Yeah. Yeah. It, this is this is his style. I got two more books, by the way. Well, let me see what I have. I have three. All right, can I breathe through the other ones, remember? Yeah. But yeah, we got um, Green Lantern as we're seeing um, Hal meet up with Joe as they're sneaking around. Now remember, by this point, the, the Green Lanterns have been taken over by the United Planets. Okay. And uh, that's why a part of the reason why Hal is on, you know, the fugitive. Mixed in with what happened in the other issue. We meet up with Kyle. Basically, this is a reunion with so many other lanterns. As um, we're seeing that, um, yeah, they could, could change their emotional color spectrum. It's why? It's because everyone, the United Nations 
has a um was known as the source lantern all of the different lanterns powered in one thing which is what leads to the whole swapping you know what emotional spectrum you're tapping into right and then um yeah we're you know again showing that the the group that's handling them is not for the best obviously um then we meet up with simon who then says they found her who they found kelly the teen lantern they're doing something they're doing some kind of experimenting to her they could have just left her it would have been fine Yep, and um, and basically, yeah, they want to go um, and help. They're trying to talk him out of it. He just goes in and gets her. Like, which one of you is going is going to take that thing off her head? Cling. Well, I guess that leaves you. Take that off. So yeah, they're fighting in to get her out of there. And and they see Razor from the animated series. Oh wow. Yep, there's a hurrying on out there, and they um they meet up with Jessica. Yay, Jessica, the only good Green Lantern. Actually, I think no, Jessica's working for them. I take it back. <laughs> Although it's made clear she is working undercover. Oh, okay. Yep, and then we have a backup with um Guy and Booster and. The Omega Bam Man from the Flash run. Oh my God! Yep, yeah. And this is about them finding Lobo. That's awesome. Yeah, they brought they brought him back. I That's love. That's so him. cool. And look, he's dealing with this guy who's kind of like Savage Dragon. Yeah, I think that's exactly who that's supposed to be. Yep. So yeah, this is the loose tie-in to oh yeah, the space dolphins. I love the space dolphins. They're what so is that, pretty. This is what the tie. This is the loose tie-in to House of Brainiac. Oh, that's awesome. Yep. Uh, next, I have Poison Ivy. If I was a really good content creator, which I'm not anymore, so it's fine. I would do a a video on her new origin. Because this is an incredible, like, three-part series. They and can yet, sell this just as her origin. It's a good origin. And again, it makes it very clear, like we keep saying, and I don't know if Reese is still here, she is definitely bi, not Les. Is she wearing boobs? That's what? the weirdest cover ever. What, Crush? Yeah. That's just her shirt. Okay. That's supposed to be a circle. No, I know, but doesn't it look like it's a t-shirt, a boob t-shirt? I don't True. know. It's weird. It's weird. Pro- pro- weird and, pro- and man, probably doesn't wear a bra I'm betting. I mean, yeah, you're probably right. Yeah, Jared has a good point. You're a great content creator. You should get back into the swing of it. Yeah, yeah. If I wasn't so lazy. Um, yeah, but this is this three-part series was so good. We are finally getting up to the point where um, she actually enters Gotham. So um, we see Floronic Man flee, and Bella is trying to save her as much as she can, and she's starting to become one with the green. Mm -hmm. She's starting to be able to hear her. Bella's there. She's, like, going fucking crazy. The earth is screaming. Can't you hear it? Like, she pretends that the medicine knocks her out, even though it doesn't affect her at all. That way she can sneak out and she keeps hearing the screaming over and over again. The earth is screaming and she realizes where it's centered at. And it's centered in Gotham. Because, right, of course it is. The city of industry, commerce, basically everything that would fuck up the natural green, the natural order of things. And she says it sounds like an open wound. And she um, realizes uh, a power I haven't seen her use in a very, very long time. She is making the men fall in love again. <laughs> and I love that. And we get. Oh, to she see- had to start somewhere. She had to, and I think that the case where Jewel wasn't new, she had to acknowledge the early beginnings. Oh, she does a good job of it. Um, oh yeah. And oh, yeah, the uh, simplistic, the simplistic outfit. 
Yep, and it shows her original kind of outfit. She meets Batman for the first time, and he's like, who are you? And she obviously she can't say her name because she could get Bella in danger, so she makes up her name there on the spot. She gets taken to Arkham. Um, even Gordon's like, you can't make me fall in love. I've got a mask. Mm-hmm. Um, and she makes friends with somebody, and I don't know who it is. Their name is Violet. Who the fuck would that be from DC? Uh, let me look. Because it seems important, but basically they tell Violet. Uh, tells her, Halo, wait, that's not Halo, is it? Maybe. Uh, uh, cause, yeah, because that, that's the only um, Violet I could see is Halo. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. Basically, the advice she gives her is um, make it seem like you know what you did wrong and you're, um, you were emotionally let me, let me manipulated. What, what, what issue of Poison Ivy is this? 21. Hold on. Um, Make it seem like, you know, they're fixing you and kind of manipulate them. And it works. She gets out and she has to meet with her caseworker for like five years and they actually bought the routine. And she meets up with Batman finally. And she does like a good job of trying to convince him about what's going on in the city. And he's just not really hearing it. He's like, no, terrorism isn't the way to go. This is not how we save, you know, you're jeopardizing civilians. There's innocent people out there. This is not how you do this. And, um, he he's kind of into it and then realizes or not she's actually not using her pheromones here but he's into it like he wants to he's down to fuck and he's like oh no it's a trap it's a trap it's a trap and runs away and that's the end of her origin whoa 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 trashing someone else's successful character what are you talking about reese and reese i just said this proved here that ivy is by not I don't know what he's saying, like trashing someone else's successful character. Well, who is he G trashing? What is he talking about? Place and Ivy? Uh, you know, he's brought it up while we're talking about this. What book did you go over last? What did I just go over? Oh, Bat Superman. No, uh no Green Lantern. Maybe something on there? No, I think he's talking about this because it popped up while you were talking about this. There's no trashing in here. There's a nice supple booty, but no trashing. <laughs> well, but this, my... ended up, um, this interrupted her Lamia stuff from before. So that's where it takes us back, where she's in Slaughter Swamp with Solomon and um, Croc. Right. So I got my last one. Oh, yeah. I should switch over. Oh, I got both of these. There's two of them out now, right? Yep, out of three. I haven't read them. I haven't read them, but I got them. Uh, this has been so damn good. I had no idea that Jurgens could get this dark. Yeah, we see Batman getting out being electrocuted. Rude. Yep. Again, we're just dealing through all that. Again, this is a ground and gritty gold. Basically, again, what if gold, the Golden Age Batman was in the more modern day? We go gritty storytelling. Whoa, whoa, okay, wait. Doesn't improve shit, Robert. It's updated origin for a character to fit a narrative. Yes, this book. Okay, first of all, this proves, though, this proves she has not been turned into a lesbian, that she has been and always will be bi. For sure, but I didn't even say anything about that. Well, I did, but he said it doesn't prove shit. It's an updated um, origin for a character to fit a narrative. What narrative? What narrative? What? Uh, Reese, Reese, stop it. Stop it. I don't get it either. They do this all the time. They update origins all the time. It was really, really good. If they wanted to, they could have made her full on list. But Wilson respected what came before. All she did was incorporate new new elements like Bella. Yeah. But anyways, I was saying, though... uh, yeah, he's meeting, uh, you know, does, you know, he's recovering, recuperating from everything going on, and that there's something brewing up. Something, like, monster men, basically, are building up. 
which is a reference, of course, to Batman and the Monster Men. Which I like the art. Oh yeah, Mike Perkins is so good. So good. Yep. Um, yeah, is this Julie. black label? This, yeah, this is black label. But yeah, that's it's Julie. Julie Mary. Oh, okay. From very early. Yep. Um, and but we didn't find out that there's going to be a you know, these monster men are like zombies or literal monsters. See? Wait, zombies in Gotham? I should be yeah. reading this. Um, or something like that. Well, basically we get to a point where Gordon tells them we got that you have to shoot, shoot them. You have to get a gun. Oh, right. Like Batman's going to do that. Actually. Oh, my God. I'm not reading this book. Wait, wait, wait. Well, we don't see him actually use it. We just see him get it. So obviously there's going to be a chance where uh, uh, I love it. Um, I don't know if it's possible or even if it is, whether I'm up to it. I started this mission a few weeks ago. So, yeah, this is within his first month. But in that time, oh. I've been beaten, shot at, gassed, and night. Nearly fried in the electric chair, chair too. And he reveals himself. So good. Mm-hmm. Um, and then, um, yeah. We find, uh, and we eventually are leading into, yeah, the big fight against those monsters. Gordon shoots them, gets strangled. Batman what helps them. What the fuck? What? What? The new update for Mortal Kombat? You need fucking 35 gigs? No, it's a, that means that tells me that's a big reinstall. Lord of fucking mercy. Remember, it's also an update too, remember? That's a lot. Now, see, though, look, he says, listen to me, arm yourself, get a gun before it's too late. If nothing else, at least think about and think about it. Hold on, let me get back. I just got booted. Um, and before and before I have to, to bury them, you didn't get you. booted. You're still here. Not booted. I meant this, my steam popped up. Oh, oh, okay. Not all of them. Well, Gar is still alive. In the meantime, I'll think about what you said. And he does. He's thinking about using it. Oh shit! Fucking stupid. Again, he's thinking about it. We don't know. I'm sure he's gonna say no. That's just yeah. this is just a book to reestablish he doesn't like guns. We knew that. And, well, to be fair, though, he did use guns back in those days. Yeah, for like two issues. True. But again, this is within his first month. Yeah, so it's it's redoing that. But again, this has just been so damn good and entertaining. And again, it's something fresh. It's fresh. Ooh, Pika might be the smartest one in the room right now. Um. It's weird how DC is doing a story like this since these story elements should be going into public domain in the next in the next decade. Is DC trying to claim them before uh, that happens? Yeah, it Maybe. wouldn't work. It wouldn't work that way. I don't know if it would. I don't I don't know enough about it. You but. can't re you can't reclaim something like that, I don't think. I don't know. I'll wait till the I have the first two issues. I'll wait till the third comes out and I'll probably read it. Depending right. on what his choice is about the gun. All right, so your turn. Okay, this is my last book. Yes. No, it's not. I have two more. Well, I have something epic eight. I don't know if I'll talk about that too much. Basically, we get a new epic. Um, All right. Uh, so this is weird, right? Um, I don't know why. Like, we clearly see that she's completely nude here. That's not the, what the story is about, but there is a weird part with this. I'm not very happy with. Um, basically, Gabriel, uh, the main, he, think of him as like the Google CEO. He's dead. And he has left all of his money to his friends because of the stuff that's going on with the internet. Um, and they find out that they have a mission. There's a lot of exposition for just the mission that they find out. Um, Silk, who is the main kind of um, FBI agent working on this, um, gets to talk to one of the kids. They find out through this video that Gabriel left, like one of those videos, like, if you're listening to this, I'm already dead type videos mm -hmm. that we've never seen done before. It's totally a new concept. Um, basically, their mission is to make sure that the internet stays down 
Mm -hmm. and destroy the undernet or close the doorway at least to the undernet. And they have to decide whether or not they're going to take it or Mm -hmm. take the mission. Um, If they do, they're going to be the richest people on earth. Like he left all the money to the four of them. And um, so this is disappointing here. Silk ends up talking to one of the kids that Gabriel's sister, Sam, had gotten to. So he's a little bit corrupted from the undernet. Um, Mm -hmm. And let me get past this because this is just them taking a vote. If they're going to do it, they all say yes. And he starts to turn and Sam shows up. What I don't understand is why Sam has clothes on now. Uh-uh. I'm not reading this book anymore. Like that's really stupid for me not to read, but clearly, like somebody said you had to censor this book or something. Like Yeah, I have a feeling that's probably what happened. And I appreciate a good underboob. I do, and the outfit's cool. Oh. But why? Oh. Mm-hmm. Why is she, why what why put clothes on her? She was the chick with the white hair and white bush and tiggle bitties that came around and it was super weird she was naked and everybody was taken back by that so she was able to do what she wants and they put clothes on her Uh, that's so dumb by the way can i show you something quickly no it's one of their dedications to ramona Freden. oh that's cool and look at that she was still working before she passed that's crazy I mean, and you can tell this is recent because look at um Natasha. Yeah. Yeah, the fact that she was working on this before, right before she passed away. That they look great. Um, they look great. They had the Ramona covers on Catwoman and some of the other books too. Yeah. Like I said, oh, that is just so oh. Yeah. Isn't that isn't yeah, that's it just, such a shame. Yeah, to lose but they her. always do really good dedications, at least. Oh, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's not the greatest compared to some of the other ones, but still better than the copy-paste stuff that Marvel does. Yeah, definitely. Um, I mean, I she also, co-created M- Metamorpho. Right. I also, I breezed through this real quick so we can get to the absolute comic stuff. Um, mm-hmm. Something epic. Uh, we have a new epic named Noah. She is a detective. Um, she's quite a bit different than our original epic. Um, but we find out she's going to be working with um all right, basically Howard the Duck. Mm-hmm. Uh he calls him what does he call himself like um it's like wonder. a mixture between Howard and uh Daffy. Duck, yeah, like D Duck Detective is his oh, name. D Duck uh, or the Duck Detective. I don't know. They're going to be working together and um, we get some like, you know, this is obviously supposed to be the Punisher. Like we get some really good stuff in this, but we're I'm I'm curious how this is going to tie in mm-hmm. with the other epic because this is a brand new story test. They're going to be they're going to try to figure out who was murdered and why here. Um, I love this is still one of the best books right now. Right. Okay, we have news about Absolute Comics. Now, and nothing has been fully confirmed. Let us get that out of the way. Um, no, I think DC it's bleeding has not... Cool. Exactly, it's bleeding cool, making a statement. Now, granted, this does connect to something that Samuel told us months ago, remember? No. I do. What Samuel brought this up. Samuel brought this up months ago that there was rumors about an ultimate universe with Scott Snyder involved. Oh, okay. I distinctly remember him bringing that up. That makes sense. And he probably quickly deleted it, I'm guessing. Like like always, but that stuck with me. That, <laughs> stuck, that stuck in my mind though when he when he said that. That always stuck with me. And then I saw this, I'm like, hey, so. This is why I trust this a bit more because because of Samuel bringing it up. Well, I mean, I wonder if there was an issue with not an issue, but I wonder if that Netflix or uh, what was it, comic comicsology deal he had 
Mm -hmm. didn't pan out as well, and he's going back to you know. Well, my understanding, he's not going to do all the writing though. He's more guiding it. Right, right. But okay, first off, what's going to be the difference here? One, it's a separate universe, separate line, completely. It's, kind of, it's just like what the Ultimate Universe is doing. Okay, but what's the difference between that and the Else World or the Black Label? How many, how many different lines? It's gonna be an actual. It's gonna be an actual universe. You know, all interconnected. It's Whereas, basically their ultimate. That's what I just said. Yeah, I know. You weren't listening, I was, were you? I was. I was repeating. Oh, so my question, Oh my god. Okay, that's clever. <laughs> So Absolute Comics, a DC all ins. As DC all in is on all in, I think is just them going. Oh, it's like the, it's, it's, the, it's the follow up now to what we've been doing with DC Dawn of the DC. Okay. Um. So now, is this going to tie in with the Absolute Power coming up? I wouldn't be surprised if it does. There's they no just, way that's coincidence, right? And, and they do make it clear that this is going to be part of the greater DC universe and that there might be crossovers. Wait, so this is going to be... Part of the DC multiverse or omniverse. So this is just going to be like an Earth 2 type. I mean, obviously, like, not Earth 2, but, like, yeah, just something basically, similar. Basically, it's just like the original Ultimate Universe. You know what's gonna suck for them is this if this does way better than the main line. That's that be it, embarrassing. It could be embarrassing, but then at, at the same time, look at what Ultimate Spider Man is doing. It's already outdoing the amazing. Yeah, and I heard Ultimate Black Panther is really good too. Yep. So uh, I mean and Ultimate X Men, even though I'm not a fan of it. There's gonna be so much different like they're going to be able to, like, okay, with Batman with a gun earlier, that could be something that's more of a gray area as compared to not, I, I don't know how they're going to do it. Again, it's going to be, it's just like oh, the original Ultimate, where it's just going to run parallel. I like it. <clears throat> I do like the idea. Now, apparently Donny Cates was supposed to be involved, but fell through. I wonder why. Who knows? But he's supposed to be doing a Q and A um, or an a a AMA on Twitter tonight. Oh, I bet somebody's going to ask him. And and I I wonder if it like because I know there was rumors of him before, so I don't know if that's related. His stuff with Marvel when there was rumors, he like uh, rumors. Didn't. But why that was fact? What was it? Basically, he did. Basically, okay, he got into it uh, uh, and he started um, going into rehab. Marvel paid for his rehab and gave him an advance for doing stuff like the Ultimate Universe and other events. And then when he said, I'm stepping down, he said, okay, then give us back the advance. Right, the money. And it's like, I already spent it. Ah, Raymond has a good point. I don't think DC would care about embarrassment over the dollar signs. Yeah, that's fair. Um, So I wonder, so it's going to be Elseworld, Black Label, main you this is when they need to implement something can you please stop just chill for a fucking minute um i wonder this is when they need to implement something oh, like i yeah. said before a little label as to what world and what oh, like i think they are i think it's going to get his own logo i think it's going to get his own logo it's going to have to oh by the way so ram v this is where he's leaving from detective for so he's going over to ultimates i mean uh, absolute, absolute. absolute yeah Oh my God! Maybe well, Detective will be readable yeah, again. Ram B is coming off Detective Comics just at the time that Absolute Comics and DC All In hits. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay, so okay. it's not a guarantee. It's not, it's not a definite, but it's definitely a probably. I kind of I, I I like the idea. Of course, the big joke, of course, is it's the Snyderverse, but not the Snyder, but not the, that Snyder. Oh my God, Michael, take it back! Oh God, no! Let Teeny stay on Catwoman. That's all she needs to do. And we don't need Mac. I, I At don't all. think. I don't think they're gonna go for those type of creators. I think they're gonna go for big names. Well, the names already is talking about Mark Wade and his absolute power. Ron V. Donny Cates got off. Scott Snyder. I don't think we're going to see. 
Maybe. I don't think they're but... going to go for bottom of the barrels. No, I don't. I don't think they're. I think they're trying something big with this one. Exactly. Exactly. They're going for something big. Something that's going to be much more. Now, again, they're going to start from the ground up. But obviously, this is not. It's going to be its own separate universe. It's not going to be a prior universe altered. Right. Exactly. Sorry, like Reese, Earth, I took like your coffee. One, it's like what it's what Earth One should have been. Um, Tavia has a question. He says, "Is this a new Ultimate Neither. DC Universe going to be New Fifty Two again, or DC Rebirth? Because that's what I was. I think it's just going to be its own new thing." Uh, uh, Tavia, you got. I want you to keep this in mind. This means we're going to start with a Superman, much like New Fifty Two, who's just starting out. No marriage, no nothing. They're not going to be Ultimate Spider Man, where he's already married as kids by the time powers kick in or anything. Well, in the original Ultimate, he wasn't. We're no, talking know, Ultimate I'm down the line. I'm yeah. talking about current. Yeah. Um, also, no, he's not going to be on this one, dude. He's exclusive to Ghost Machines, dude. Tomasi is not leaving Ghost Machines. I mean, yeah, Tomasi would be cool, but I, I, yeah, Ghost Machine, I think, is where he's he's staying. But like, I can, I can see them getting some this could, decent. This could writers. bring him back though. I do think this could bring some of those creators back. Another multiverse bullshit. Okay, Gary, this is it's not a multiverse it's a, more used think properly. Of ultimates. ultimates. I think that's a pr- like. Um, well, you Marvel has of- tainted. Marvel has tainted the multiverse because they've used it for excuses to gender swap and race swap. But oh, and like, DC no. has never done that. They don't have a gender not swap not, or anything. But they use it as a case of that world exists. They don't try to make it the mainstream version or anything. No, I know. I'm just kidding. They never be. They exist out there. Ooh, look at this. Whereas Marvel has been doing it more so about. Oh, yeah, they're going to be here, and they're the better ones. Now we just have to wait for months to be it all, to have it all be announced. Oh, damn it. Uh, yeah, this is not a relaunch nor a reboot. I mean, they may announce it when... When does the Absolute... That's a summer event, right? Yeah, Absolute Power. They've already announced it, and that comes out in a few more... No, I mean, um, maybe that will be when they actually... DC does an official announcement for this. Probably. But yeah, I mean, I'm I'm interested in this. I am too. He called I mean, him lazy. That's not very nice. Oh, th- this one. Oh boy, this be a uh, blow up. Did yeah, it really? Someone, yeah, oh yeah, basically some idiot put this out there, and and he also claimed this was the Marvel method, which is you know, oh, but that Marvel method is where you the writer and the um artist plot together the artist does a lot of the work and then the writer comes in fills it in and then the guy later said okay i used the wrong definition but it is still lazy and everyone's saying no it depends on a lot of them will say it depends on the connection that the writer has with his artist when it's someone like mitch it's mitch gerard he knows everything about this yes he understands tom king very well some our writers have to be more specific others vague as he said as the actual artist who drew this page, this uh, from this script, I can tell you it was one hundred percent certainty. I I was just looking at what people said. Um, would that he this person has no idea what they're talking about? Was what? And that's said. what that's, unfortunately, you of course have people who hate Tom King say, "Nope, this proves he sucks. He is the worst writer." Oh yeah, he said the sheer abuse of the Marvel method being done in modern comics so that writers can do multiple books a month is astoundingly. Stanley even would Phelps blush. Said, even even Stephanie Phillips, I think it was Stephanie Phillips said this isn't how that works. No, the, I I've seen plenty of scripts to know that this is clearly these people have a. I, it, it's short. It's shorthand because he know he trusts Mitch to know what he's going for. If it oh, wasn't, if it was anyone but Mitch, if it was anyone like someone new he was working with, he'd be more detailed. So tell me, okay, explain now what happened with this because I was just. Okay, Confused. with this, okay, basically, after he made that statement about one day I'd like to have an honest conversation about Barbara Gordon, Becker, Oracle, basically, in other words, saying about which is more important, what's the placement and everything, because people, ever since New 52, have been constantly pissed that she became back again, they just ignored or dropped or downplayed Oracle, just saying, oh, it's something that happened, move forward. Like. Do people not understand how comics work, Reese? <clears throat> Reese. <laughs> um, um, 
But and Gary, New Fifty Two did not suck, dude. There was good. There was it was, there was good there was and so bad. Good. There was bad though. Yeah, but anyway, it's a new, um, new, new Fifty Two. Exactly, Black Phoenix. You got it. Yeah, but ba- so basically, um, but after that statement was made, now a lot of people making this burning up the pages. They're not the anti SJWs. I I didn't. I don't categorize people as SJWs and anti-SJWs. Oh, okay, but I'm just saying, from what I understand, the people who actually did the, the burning up were more people who were closer to Taylor's side of things who were outraged about it. Right, they were mad that she's not in a wheelchair and mall representation, I'm assuming. Exactly. And we're thinking that's, that just that big statement there is ableist. I just because he didn't, he didn't specify del- inten- you know, deliberately. That that is absolutely ridiculous. Like, and it's also not really offensive. If you guys want to burn my fucking pictures, I'm not gonna be sad. It's not now, gonna bother me. Don't let that shit bother you. Apparently, it connected to something like some meme or statement that said, like, if I killed someone or something like that. It okay, was, see, there, now there was that's some, a little different. Or about our hitless type of thing. It was connected to something a bit more extreme. That they, uh, but or following some similar meme trend or something. I I knew it. Damn it! I was going to say what Jared means by this is pair up Wonder Woman and Superman, but you beat me to it. I knew it. I no, knew but it. he is right. These were all great. And um, wasn't Deathstroke done by that one guy that does uh, Christopher Priest? Wasn't that no, 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 no. That was Rebirth. That was Rebirth. That was Rebirth. Tony, okay. You first had you first had um um Kyle Higgins started off, then you had Rob Liefeld, and then you had Tony Daniel. Tony Daniel is awesome on anything. And hey, yeah, and I'll say this: since it's a separate universe and it's going to run parallel, and not being saying that it's the main. DC I, universe, I think it's a great opportunity. Yeah, and if they have Wendy and um, Superman get together, so long as we still have Superman and Lois in the main universe, I'm happy. Yeah, yeah, like they can do something totally different. The and, issue is always boiled okay. down. To, the issue was boiled down to what it always boiled down to was claiming the one was the one and only. Deal with it. Accept it. Right. Wait, Lana uh, Lang. Oh yeah. Wow. Okay, Lana's cool. I like Lana. Why don't okay, we go uh, like uh, super uh, crazy and do Superman with Shieldon? Come on now. <laughs> Something crazy. All right, but, what do you got going on in your channel this week, Robert? Well, don't, don't you want to finish um, rapping uh, with this thing now? Isn't that it? They no, burn well, his pictures. Well, well, Ooh, scary. True. Yeah, okay, that's true. But do I have anything else going <laughs> up? Um, besides you and, my, and me recording that one video, I do have a couple others in the can. Which me and I just realized in a few in like another month or so, I'll be already up to uh 400. Holy shit. Yep, I'm just boom going right through them. Awesome. Um, I would still like to have maybe with you uh moderating it, another um debate with Jared about Wonder Woman Lois. I know I need to get um some content done with Jared. It just always sucks because. He's always like, I'm available anytime after three. And I'm like, hey, I'm available anytime before two. And it just <laughs> always works out funky like that. But yeah, I need, I would be totally down to doing Yeah, that I would love to have you uh, be a proper moderator as we actually have a legit debate. Black Phoenix says I need to make more videos. I saw your TikTok video or your short video. Um, what was it? It was a it was an anime guy, or a Hadouken guy. I don't know. Ryu? Ryu? No, it wasn't Ryu. It was a oh, Dragon oh, Ball oh, Goku. guy. Oh, oh, Goku. Yeah. I just, I, yeah. I knew that. I still watch it, though, because <laughs> it was Black Phoenix. All yeah, right, guys. Yeah, tomorrow. Yeah, yeah. Um, tomorrow is Ermac Day. Fucking Ermac. I'm so excited. And we're going to take a look at the new season and all that fun stuff. Thursday, Steph and I will be doing our book club. This week is Britney Spears. And we're okay. going to talk about some... Probably, we may, depending on... I got to talk to Steph, but I thought about um, taking a look at some of that conversation has come up again about sexy women in video games and... All that stuff, yeah. Yeah, if if we don't cover that on Thursday, I probably will Friday, but... Or Mac yep. Day, yay! I'm so excited. Yeah, well, uh, just... Uh, but, uh, yeah, I mean, that's... The sexy video game stuff. I mean, have you you've been looking more into that? 
No, but I probably should. I know it's like a trend. I'm really bad with like trending things. Things are trending, and I'm like, eh, I'll look at them. In a week. I, I, like I like I said before, there I do feel there's some merit, not as much merit as people are making it out to be. But when you do have some of those Western game developers putting their foot wait, in their mouth to try and you know, wait, he wins. He wins. Comment of the day. Yeah, I error, said that error, like error yes, macro. that's how his name came along. That's fucking awesome, Black. People Phoenix thought like that. yeah, like who's Ermac? No, no, that means error macro. Yes. people thought it was a character. Yep, that's awesome. All right, guys, we will see you next time. Thank you so much, Robert. Everyone, have a great day. Bye, guys. See ya. I can do, I feel so